Imagine a world where AI doesn't just assist us, it decides for us. Where machines don't just outsmart us in games, but control critical decisions in life, death, and society. And it's not just science fiction. The very experts who pioneered today's AI are now sounding the alarm. Jeffrey Hinton, known as the godfather of AI and a recent Nobel Prize winner for his groundbreaking work, warns that the real question isn't if AI will surpass human intelligence, but when. And once it does, the risks aren't just about job losses. We're talking existential threats technology that could challenge human control over our future. Almost everybody I know who's an expert on AI believes that they will exceed human intelligence. It's just a question of what... Let that sink in. We're not debating whether AI will change the world it already is. The question is, are we prepared for what comes next? Jeffrey Hinton isn't just any tech enthusiast. He's widely regarded as the godfather of AI for his pivotal role in developing the technologies that have driven today's AI. Boom. His work on neural networks laid the foundation for the machine learning algorithms that power chatbots, voice assistants, and even the complex systems that diagnose diseases. In fact, his contributions earned him a share of the Nobel Prize. If someone of Hinton's caliber says we don't fully understand how these advanced models function, what does that mean for our future? Are we racing toward a reality where machines are not only smarter than us, but capable of making decisions that profoundly impact human life? Let's break down some key areas he discusses, including AI safety, military applications, job displacement, and the growing wealth gap. One of Hinton's greatest concerns is that as AI continues to get smarter, we may reach a point where these systems are no longer controllable. He stresses that while AI's goals might align with ours initially, once it exceeds human intelligence, ensuring it remains under control will be a major challenge. The idea that we don't fully grasp how these large language models function is more than just a technical issue. It's a profound existential risk. Imagine if we built a machine that could think and reason, but we had no real way of knowing how it came to its conclusions. In essence, we'd be handing the keys to our future over to an entity that we don't fully understand. Right now, we're witnessing an AI arms race among tech companies. They're in a mad scramble to develop the next big thing in AI, driven by competition to dominate the market. The problem is that when companies are in a rush to innovate, safety considerations often take a back seat. Hinton points out that this drive to win the AI race can lead to cutting corners when it comes to ensuring these systems are safe. It's like trying to build the fastest car in the world but forgetting to install seat belts or brakes. The race for AI dominance isn't just about who gets there first, it's about whether we get there safely. Another major area of concern for Hinton is the military use of AI. As with nuclear weapons in the mid-20th century, AI technology is quickly being adapted for military applications. Imagine autonomous drones or robots capable of identifying and engaging targets without human intervention. While it may sound like science fiction, the reality is that militaries worldwide are already integrating AI into their operations. Think about that for a second. Autonomous weapons could theoretically operate without any human input, making life and death decisions on the battlefield. This raises ethical questions, not to mention the risk of an AI arms race. If nations like China and Russia develop these capabilities, would other countries feel pressured to follow suit? Hinton suggests we could end up in a scenario where AI arms races escalate in a way similar to the nuclear arms race of the Cold War. Now you might be thinking, well, can't we just regulate this kind of thing? It's not that simple. While there have been efforts to introduce international agreements like a Geneva Convention for AI, the reality is that many governments, including those in the West, are reluctant to limit AI development for military use. So while AI technology continues to advance, the guidelines to control its use, especially in warfare lag far behind. The danger is not just rogue states or terrorists developing weaponized AI, but even established governments pushing boundaries to maintain an edge in military power. Let's shift gears and talk about how AI might impact jobs. This isn't just about replacing blue collar work. AI is already capable of handling a range of tasks that were once considered too complex for machines, like drafting legal documents or even diagnosing medical conditions. Jobs that involve pattern recognition, repetitive tasks, or even mid-level intellectual work are at risk. We're not just talking about truck drivers and factory workers anymore. Lawyers, journalists, customer service reps, these professions may all see drastic changes or reductions in the coming years. Even programming, a skill once thought to be future-proof, could be affected as AI becomes more proficient in writing and debugging code. So what careers might be safe from automation for a while longer? According to Hinton, jobs that require complex physical manipulation like plumbing are still out of AI's reach, for now at least. 
However, this doesn't mean we can all just switch to careers in plumbing or other manual labor. We need to start thinking seriously about what kind of skills will be valuable in a world where AI handles much of the work. Adaptability, creativity, and emotional intelligence are likely to be more important than ever. Where things get tricky. If the wealth generated by AI primarily benefits a small group of tech companies and their shareholders, the divide between the rich and the poor will only widen. This isn't just about economics. It's about the fabric of society. When large segments of the population are displaced from their jobs, the social implications can be profound. It could fuel political extremism, social unrest, and even cause shifts in global power dynamics. Universal Basic Income, UBI, has been proposed as one potential solution, but Hinton suggests that it's not a complete fix. That's a crucial point. Even if everyone's basic needs are met, there's still the matter of self-worth. Many people derive a sense of purpose and identity from their work. Without meaningful employment, even with UBI, people could face psychological and social challenges. So, with all these changes on the horizon, what should young people do to prepare? Hinton admits that predicting which jobs will be safe is difficult. The safest bets seem to lie in fields where AI still struggles like physical labor, creative work, and complex problem solving. In other words, it's not about choosing the right degree or career path, but rather about being adaptable and willing to learn new skills. The ability to pivot and grow with technological changes could be the most valuable skill in the future. Hinton's final message is a call for caution and proactive measures. We need more resources devoted to understanding AI safety. Right now, we're like passengers on a train that's accelerating, but we don't know if there's a cliff ahead. Shouldn't we at least invest in a few extra brakes, just in case? And that's the crux of it. If we continue on our current path without ensuring these technologies remain beneficial to society, we might find ourselves dealing with consequences that go far beyond the loss of jobs or economic inequality. So there you have it, folks. Jeffrey Hinton's concerns aren't just about AI taking our jobs, they're about AI changing the very fabric of society. We need to be ready for these shifts, whether that means advocating for stronger regulations, rethinking education, or planning for a future where universal basic income becomes a reality. I is coming, and it's coming fast. The real question is, will we be ready for it? Thanks for watching. If you found this video thought provoking, hit that like button, subscribe for more deep dives into the world of AI, and let me know in the comments what you think about Hinton's concerns. See you in the next video.